Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody just a few minutes ago, I got up just to check the radar. We've got rain in Central Texas tonight. Well, it's really early in the morning. And they asked how I would draw, easily draw this guitar pick shape. And I drew one in like a second. And just look here. I, well, I, re I reverse my language. Um, without even trying, I got that close. So now I know I'm really just helping one person, but this you might learn a little bit. So maybe stay tuned. So I'm going to draw a complete circle. Holding down the control button. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. I am going to go to a range and convert it to curves. And I am going to take away that node and that node. Now I'm going to bring an indexing line in and hit P on the keyboard and make it and move it over. I'm just going to say one inch. Now I'm going to make control D and make a duplicate of that line and move it over two inches. So now they're one inch from the center. I'm going to grab my shape tool. I'm going to click on my item and I'm going to just kind of try to put that rotation skew to the indexing line. Now I can do it right on the line. And then we're just going to take this and just move this up a little bit. See the shape already? To me, that would be the easiest, and don't ask me how I know that. Just playing around drawing and realized it years ago. You could take the curve nose out of a curve. So this thing isn't perfectly equal. And I've done this many times in my videos. Hold down the control button and draw a straight line. Hit P on the keyboard. And you can see how it's not equal. We can even redo it and put it in the center of the page. But it's still not equal. And if you want it equal, doesn't matter what side you pick, take your virtual segment delete key and delete one side. Now you can take away your line. Grab your half a shape, control D, hold down, keep holding down the control button and just move over. Now, as always, I take the smart fill tool and fill it in. And then take away the, I'm left clicking, no fill. I'm going to right click hairline. Now you can see these are two pieces. I could have very easily welded them. But let's just see how close I got to doing them exactly the same. I think one of them is quite a bit fatter. But you could very easily, I think my first one's better. As you see, you just mirror it and put it right on top of the one they sent me, which was just a picture. And of course you could, and you can see it's a picture because it's got, uh, let's put it to the back of the page. So depending on the size, if you wanted that exact size, uh, you could do this or you could contour it. But that's pretty close dead on and, and a lot more equal than that JPEG. All right, I hope that helped them a little bit, and thank you for watching.